The University of Pittsburgh School of Arts and Sciences congratulates Jeff Oakes as a winner of the 2008 Tina and David Bellet Arts and Sciences Teaching Excellence Award. Established in 1998 with a gift from Arts and Sciences alumnus David Bellet and his wife Tina, a longtime teacher, this annual award recognizes outstanding and innovative teaching and undergraduate studies in the School of Arts and Sciences. Jeff Oakes is a lecturer in the Department of English at the University of Pittsburgh and serves as the Managing Director of the Pittsburgh Contemporary Writers Series. After completing his MFA in Poetry from Pitt's English Department in 1990, Oakes accepted a position as an instructor in the department. A graduate of the State University of New York at Binghamton, Oakes has served as a writer-in-residence at the Ellis School, the annual Western Pennsylvania Writing Retreat, and the Western Pennsylvania Writing Project, where he has conducted workshops and developed exercises for elementary, middle, and high school students and teachers. Oakes has published two collections of poetry, The Moon of Books and The Unknown Country, and his work has appeared in numerous publications. The last thing I thought I really wanted to do with my life was be a teacher. Um, I was scared. I hardly spoke as an undergraduate. Uh, I actually hardly spoke as a graduate student sometimes. Just to give you all hope, this is the first one of my students to ever get his first book published. I had to figure out some way to stand up in front of people and, um, and teach. And I had to figure out some, some way not to die doing that. Um, and the first year was awful. I walked around, my famous story is I walked around with my bag and I had um, one of those little um, Pepto-Bismols and I would do shots of it before I taught because I just thought I would like die, throw up, pass out, something terrible would happen. And, but somehow I made it through. And there are enough nice people around here who sort of helped and gave me ideas. Somewhere around the third year of teaching, I actually relaxed into it for the first time. And, um, and that was fun, and suddenly it was fun. A lot of it is really me um, uh, trying to get them to expand as much as possible. Uh, over the years, that's sort of become my default mechanism, probably, is, uh, is that students often think um, they ha they've said enough, but in fact they haven't. My job is to draw out of them what they haven't yet said, and maybe what they don't know. Um, and then and then to tell them what they've just said or to help them to see that what it is is interesting because the, the other thing is that sometimes they don't recognize their own lives as interesting he just so much appreciates his students and loves to communicate with them he's just so easygoing and so curious about his students and very willing to go the extra mile to understand, maybe just to understand how they work so that they, he can further understand their writing and further help them expand their writing. In the same way that like the first poem in your first, in your first book sets up the reader to know what to expect. I mean, I could write something like, uh, you know, today I tied my shoes and a whole poem about that. And Jeff Oakes would want me to open it up and try to talk about it in a way that's reflecting myself and my view of the world. And like, I mean, he demands that of, of me and of his students. And I think that's really helpful. I genuinely really care about all of them right. as individuals. And um, right. I really do believe when I go into my classes that everybody ought to be able to get an A. And that they, they have, and at the very least, everybody has something in them that it will be amazing. The most amazing thing about Jeff is how much he cares about his students. He's very compassionate and very, he wants so much for his students to push the boundaries of how they write and push themselves and explore different things. I think the most important thing is um, a willingness to kind of uh, come down to the students level and not necessarily preach to them or get up on a soapbox or anything which is something that Jeff I think has done wonderfully I mean it almost seemed like he was just another part of the class while he was teaching us certainly um, it really felt like you felt very comfortable around him and not as if it was necessarily a student professor relationship but kind of like a student friend relationship he still has faith in poets 
I mean, he still is totally in love with being a poet. And it's so cool because, uh, you know, poets kind of get a bum rap. And he still thinks that any one of us can, can be like a superstar of poetry. <laughs> Students have gone on to become lawyers and teachers and all sorts of other things. But what I think that maybe they got out of um, our classes, my class, is a way to um, access their, their insides and their emotions um, and to figure out a way to order them in a way that um, is expressive, that often um, makes sense finally, um, and all, sometimes like just as a way to um, uh, liven yourself up because there are days in which the worst thing it is is that in fact you understand yourself too well and what you need is a poem to make yourself strange again. I think that's just the sort of practice of writing, not necessarily the profession of it, but the practice of writing is useful to anybody. And if that's the worst they take away, I'm pretty happy with that.